Hey guys, this is Paul with RC Film Fighters. I just wanted to go over the next project that I'm starting to work on. It's basically the EDF version of the FF117 version 2 plane that I made a little while back. Uh, I'm finally getting back to building it. Um, I decided I was going to scale it up a little bit more um, for a 70mm EDF. I went from a 26 inch wingspan on the original um, V2 version of the plane all the way up to a 29 inch version so that you know it scaled up pretty good size so that'll make room for putting the 70 millimeter EDF in there um, I didn't like how that last plane flew with the 64 millimeter EDF it was a little underpowered so this one I wanted to bring it up and put a 70 millimeter EDF in it right now I'm probably just going to do a 4S um, uh, EDF later on I might do a 6S version of the EDF so um, anyway let's get into it Okay guys, here's what it looks like with the top off. I don't have it glued down yet. Um, basically, I just have the 70 millimeter EDF just kind of placed in here. Uh, it's not glued in or anything, but that just kind of shows you how it fits. Um, it's got this front brace that kind of holds the shape of the main fuselage. And that's got to cut through to allow air to go to the EDF. I know that's probably not optimal, you know, uh, of an air channel to get to the EDF, but um, that's kind of the way it's going to work out. And we'll test it out and see how it works. Um, this is a 70 millimeter uh, 4S EDF. It's an old one I had from Hobby King. It's a Dr. Mad Thrust EDF. Um, I think it's a, uh, what is it, 11 or 12 blade EDF. And it's rated all the way up to about, I think, 1300 watts um, maximum. Okay, as you guys can see, this plane is a little bit different if you built the prop version of this plane. Um, I did put in that um, kind of contoured bottom plate. I'll show you a little bit of that later. But as you can see, I've got riser plates that go in here to push the floor down or the bottom of the uh, plane so that allow the EDF to sit a little bit lower in the plane and get it closer to the center line of the wing um, that'll hopefully make it fly a little bit better without as much push um, down of the nose since you know the higher you get the EDF the more of a push it'll have to push the nose down so I want to try and get it as straight a shot through out the back to be most efficient i know it's not going to be 100 percent scale with you know the big air duct or the uh where the edf exhaust is but um i'm just kind of trying to make it a little bit more efficient um later on i may change the back of the plane you know where the the um exhaust of the edf will be more scale okay here's kind of a quick view of the air ducts you know without the main fuselage top on there um they are kind of small and it's a little bit restrictive so I do plan to put the cheater hole on the bottom like I did in that other test plane um, I'm not sure on the actual size might probably be about the same size as that last one I did um, but that definitely helps the airflow to the EDF and helps it breathe easier here's a quick view of the back of the plane as you can see that exhaust duct it's going to come straight through the back um, I will put a thrust tube on the EDF once I get everything you know kind of glued in there and arranged but that just kind of gives you a, a quick view of what it's going to look like i will paint this plane um you know make it all black once i get everything together and add the vertical stabilizers those basically just lean up against this air duct at an angle and it helps hide this air duct so you know you really can't see it especially when you're flying it still looks pretty scale and um, again you know later i may decide to change this you know or do a test version without that and then just squish down the thrust tube to come out the bottom holes but as for right now i'm just going to make this you know big air deck on the back to make it more efficient hopefully fly a little bit better with a little bit more power okay so i still got to get all the electronics you know pretty much soldered up and put together um, right now i'm just going to be using a, i've got an old turnage turnage uh, k force 100 amp esc um, the motor is rated at right about 75 amps so that's a little bit oversized um, but that's the ESC I have lying around, so I'll just solder that up and get it, you know, positioned in here once I get the EDF glued in there with the thrust tube and stuff. And then I'll probably just cut a hole through here to run the wires through. Okay, the other electronics are basically just going to be uh, two servos. I'm just going to embed them in the KF airfoil here on top and connect it to the elevons. It's basically just an elevon plane. I'm not going to put rudders on it or anything. I'm trying to keep the weight a little bit lighter. Um, then it can be, you know, with adding the rudder servos and stuff like that. Um, this plane is a little bit heavier than the original uh, V2 version, like I said, because I do have the riser plates and the extra bottom plate, the foam board there. So roughly it takes about six pieces of foam board 
um, to build the plane. Um, the battery will definitely go up to the front here. Uh, I've got to get it situated once I get everything installed and find out where it will go with the proper CG and with the cheater hole that I'm going to put in the bottom. Okay guys, here's a quick view of the bottom of the plane. As you can see, it does have that contoured um, bottom. I added that extra plate of foam board that gives it contours with the rounded edge here at the sides of the main wing. Um, that helps kind of lift the nose up. Um, before when I just had the flat bottom plate like the prop version, it seemed like it really had a nose down tendency. So when I did that last test flight, that last version I made a couple years ago, um, putting this bottom plate on really helped the design and made it fly a lot more level without having to put as much up reflex in the elevator. So, you know, you can almost fly with it fully level. So once we get it put together, we'll do more testing and get it um, dialed in and figured out. Okay, guys, that'll pretty much be it for the video today. Uh, please just keep a lookout. I will be doing the uh, finishing up of this plane probably in the next couple weeks and hopefully get it out for a maiden flight. Thanks again for watching and stay tuned for RC Full Fighters.